everybody. This is Darwin Reina, the Festival Director of Hospitalet Llobrega International Film Festival. Today we have a great filmmaker from Italy, uh, Gianluca. He did this great film that is in our festival, Come With Me, and I uh, was really impressed by this film. Gianluca, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, Darwin. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm doing good, buddy. T uh, thank you for being with me. Uh, we're happy to have you. Uh, Gianluca, let's start with you uh, with the writing. Uh, do you write the film? I yeah. know that. Where is the idea coming yeah. from, and why do you why do you write it? Okay, well, uh, you know, I really love uh, horror genre, and um, I thought that the best way to uh, to to do to uh, an, an horror and to try to do an horror is to start from the basic, you know. Um, so I think that a uh, ghost story is like an instant classic for an horror movie, and uh, it's it's uh, very important for me this genre. So I said, okay, let's try with something that's classic, you know, a baby, a ghost, peekaboo, and something like this. Uh, but I I I I love all the world that is behind the ghost, you know, like uh, Insidious of James Wan. There is this beyond, this, the place where all the ghosts uh, live, we can say. And uh, I really love this. And I always, uh, I've always been fascinated by this world. So this short, it's a test for me to see how, how I was good to appreciate this, this, uh, this genre. And, um, and, if, and it's, uh, it's a way to tell a story that I really love. I always loved the world of ghosts. I really love that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, Gianluca, how long was the, the writing process? How long it takes for you to finish the script? Do you remember? Uh, that's a very funny question. I, um, I start to uh, I start writing and I finish in an hour because I was wow. drunk. I was drunk and I, I, I worked all night long. I remember that day I worked all night long. And then I check everything and rewrite all the story and i think uh 20 days because i i really uh take step by, by step i rewrite a, a lot of times change characters change ghosts i did a lot of things but in uh, 20 days i have the opera finished <laughs> wow nice pretty nice man uh, yeah luca let's go to production how was the production days uh, how how difficult was what was the challenges you have while you were shooting the film in the production? Can you tell us a little bit? Yeah, of course. Well, you know, when you made a, an independent sh short movie, the problem is always the budget. You know, you have no more money. You have to you have to check everything. You have to stay very very careful because you have you have, don't have the budget mm -hmm. of a, of a major film. And maybe the worst uh, part was to find a um, house. A house, because uh, yes, I live in a place where there are a lot of uh, free house, but no one uh, gives you for free or for less. So I asked for uh, to a, a friend uh, of mine that uh, she has this house and said, "Okay, uh, let's let's do it." But after a long, long talking, a long of searching, and I think that it was the worst part because the actor, the, 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 the actress, that is Victoria Boso, mm -hmm. uh, she was uh, in, in my first short movie and we, we were friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I know the actress of uh, The Ghost uh, as a friend too. And uh, Child was a friend of mine. So the cast was not really a problem. Mm -hmm. But the house was the big part. <laughs> but after uh, a lot of chatting, a lot of please, 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 in the end, I have the house, not for free, but you know, uh, we 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 reach a deal, we reach a deal, and uh, and after that, I think maybe uh, one month or two to find this damn house mm -hmm. wow. because all the rest was ready. I have all but the house. And after one month, two months of uh, talking, uh, reaching, I got the house. Finally, I was uh -huh. uh, the happiest man in, in the world <laughs> that, that day, I remember. 
uh, but now that you say, yeah, uh, let's go back a little bit again to pre-production. So do, yeah. you, do you storyboard your film? How do you work with the shot list? How do you prepare your film before? Well, that? I have this, uh, I have this kind of, uh, of things and I, 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 I go to the, to, to the house, to the location mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, with my phone, I make uh, some uh, some uh, you know videos, photos, and that is my storyboard. We can say mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> I'm Change not dry everything, not uh, just take my phone and make videos, and uh, right. it's, it's all in the head. <laughs> right, right. Okay, cool. So uh, how it's was not the... very common, but you know it's my way to do the things. You know, yeah. Every every director got their own way to do things. I yeah, 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 yeah. So no worries. Everything is acceptable in filmmaking. Uh, Gianluca, uh, how is to work with the actors? You know them, so it was easy for you to direct them. How how's your approach yeah. directing actors? It, 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 it was very easy, but for the child, you know, because mm -hmm. you have to deal yeah. with a child, and he wanna go home, he wanna eat, and a lot of things. And uh, the child has been uh, very tough for me, uh, but. Uh -oh. um, you know, with the help of, of the others uh, that, that try to play him, try to to um, to sort him to to do mm -hmm. to do better, uh, we did it. But it's uh, it's it's been a really a really hard task, and I did it thanks to my friends and thanks to the crew that helped him with this child. And it, it was good. It was good, but he was a child. You know, he, he just yeah. wanted to play. He yeah. doesn't realize that it's a movie that I have to work for him. He's right. just playing. <laughs> so, uh, Gianluca, the, um, how many people were in the shooting days? Do you remember uh, how many days? Yeah, you, uh, we were, film? I think, uh, in total uh, 15 people, wow. maybe. It so, looks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's good because Big I thing. knew every one of them. I, I, I worked with them in the past. So it's uh, it's very good, and it, it was a, a very lucky shot because when you work with a lot of people that you know, is it's a really easy job. It's it's a really easy life because mm -hmm. you you know the people, the people know you, and they know exactly what you want, with, without even saying. And it's it's amazing because they mm -hmm. got everything, and it was right. like this. But for the baby, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So who was the cinematography of your film? is also pretty good. I like it very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, it? Uh, it was you or you have a cinematography? No, no, no. I, I have a friend that is very, very good. He, um, he, he works in uh, video making mm -hmm. and he's very, very good. Um, it's uh, very good. And I, I, I really, I'm really happy to, uh, to have uh, him to this film. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, Gianluca, let's go to uh, post-production now. Yeah. Who edited the film? Who edited Not me, but just a friend of a lifetime. Uh -huh. That his job is uh, is in fact he, he is an editor. He's an editor, and mm -hmm. uh, he works for uh, for for the for the TV Italian for the Italian television. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, he edited even my first uh, work. So uh, he's, he's the, the second, and even him, he know exactly what I want without even saying. So it was very, very, very good teamwork, even in editing. So it was perfect. <laughs> nice. So very fluid. So they, they, so for you, it was easy to work with the editor because yeah, yeah. director like me, you know, if I have another editor, it's, it's difficult because yeah, yeah. Do something different that is not in my mind, you know, most of the times. Yeah, but yeah. You, so you don't have that problem. It's fine. No, no, because we are friends of, of a lifetime. So we know what what we want and what we, we like. We have the same opinion. Right. Not always, but in uh, most part, we have the same opinion. Right. So how many how many uh, cuts he made for you before you guys decide it was the final cut? Do you remember? How many cuts? <laughs> I, uh, many? Maybe four or five. Mm -hmm. Nice. Maybe four or five, because uh, we have uh, uh, a very good material, and is you know uh, well just to try, try this, try this. Then right. it's good, but it's it's maybe another try. Okay, 
it, it, it was like a very test, uh, test for me and test for everyone to try and see what is best to show for another movie. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that uh, I did the job good. Yeah, yeah, you did good. But now that you talk about material, uh, let's go a little bit back again. How many takes do you used to take when you, uh, do you have a, a rule for that or you just feel whatever you feel and another take oh you how is it for you when you okay i i haven't i have not a number of takes but i go uh until i am happy you mm -hmm. know the scene that the fight between the girl and the baby when in in the living room and screaming so hard we did that scene 15 times <laughs> 15 wow. times I was dying. I was dying because it, it, it was a very tough scene and the uh, child was uh, very uh, tired and we, we did this scene and, uh, and the child, can we make a break? No, 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 just shoot, shoot, shoot. And we did it 15 times, oh. we did it. And for the rest of scene, I think that three or four checks and it was good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, look at the music. How is the music working for you? How do you decide the music? The music is something that you have in your mind before, or is something that comes in the editing process? Okay, I have, I have, uh, I, I have a music in my mind, but after I talk with the uh, Tecla Zorzi that works mm -hmm. with the uh, oh, she's to, pretty uh, man. Yeah, I know yeah, she's great, yeah. and she, she said to me a, a lot of things that I, I didn't know. And she said, let's try this way, let's try this way. And I was uh, fascinated because she, she was very good. And yeah. okay, it, it's not what I have in mind, but it's perfect. It's, 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 it's good, it's, it's amazing. Uh -huh. So I, 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 have, I have really happy about the, the, the music because Tecla was, his, it was uh, on, on his own, but he did, a, he did a really great job, and I'm really happy that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. nice, nice that you have it. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, I met her through Lorenzo. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. Was, she was in your film. I didn't check. You know, my guys now. Yeah, yeah I see it. She so, was too. She was too. Yeah, the music was so catchy. Yeah, that's why it's Tecla there. Yes. So, uh, Gianluca, how do you decide the? It was the final master. How do you decide? Ah, this is what I have now in the festival. This is what I want. This How do I you want. decide that? Do you get feedback from people or is it something that you decide yourself? No, it, it's something that, that I decide with the editor. We, uh, we together see and see all the master. Okay, this is good, but it can be better. And after uh, hours and hours to see, we finally decide with, with, without the, even saying to each other, we, in, in, in the same time, we said, that's the deal, that's the big one. So, you know, uh, when you're friends of lifetimes, you see in the same way, everything. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I don't know, but I, when I, re uh, when I realized it was that, that sort of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, suspense and uh, all the tension, I, I thought that it was the great deal. I thought that uh, the, that kind of suspense was good for my movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful work. But, uh, Gianluca, tell me, how do you, uh, how do you, uh, what do you think is the hardest part in filmmaking? Everything in filmmaking is difficult, you know that. Yeah, every part. Everything, but there's something always that, there's a few things that you can really manage and other things are really difficult. Which one of the three phases you think is the most difficult to pull off? The, Pre-production, production, or post-production for you, singularly? For me, for me, I think production because uh, uh, it's it's the, the the part where you have to stay focused when uh, almost everything depends on you mm -hmm. on, on on your skills mm -hmm. and how, how how good you are to uh, appreciate to the to the, to, to, to the people, to the actors, uh, to the crew. And I think it's uh, the part most most difficult because if, if you're not focused, if, if you're not show to uh, to the others that, that you are a, a, a really tough leader mm -hmm. that, that, that you can lead the boat, you know, 
I think that uh, everything is gonna go down because uh, you yeah. know you have to you have to be the the strong uh, in that group. You, you have to be that you know everything that if uh, anyone has a, a, a question, you know how to answer. You can see you can say, well, I don't know. No, no, no. You have to stay focused and you have to know everything. So I think that is the maybe the most difficult part in a movie. Right, for a, uh, for me, yeah, and uh, for yeah, 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 of course, I'm agree. You know, there are different answers in this question. You know, some say post, others say pre. Yeah, or yeah, production. yeah. But for me, I think also production is the key. Yeah, you need to have everything together. You know, and it's the most tricky part. Uh, uh, Gianluca, tell me, what do you want the people feel? I mean, besides being terrified and you know and scared, what do you want the people? What was the intention with your film that the people have a a theme, what's the message you were trying to tell in that? Just tell us a little bit of feeling so we don't reveal too much so okay. people can, can watch it in Spain. Of course, yeah. Uh, but was, uh, every person is different, so, but in you, okay? I can see mm -hmm. your film in a different way than my brother see it, you know, so. But for you, what was the intention that you want people to have after the movie's finished? Well, you know, I am, I, I, I love horror because uh, horror, horror generate is um, you no know, uh, films are uh, emotions, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people think that emotions are only good, but we have bad emotions, and I think that the horror must show all the bad emotions. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I thought very uh, some message for for my movie, and the first is don't mess with a ghost. The first one. Yeah, so. and uh, of course uh, the second one that uh, maybe when a baby uh, see uh, or child see uh, something strange, maybe you have to believe him, okay? <laughs> not not just because he's a child yeah, that's that invented to believe him. And most important, that when you face something that you don't know, you must be you must be prepared or you're out. <laughs> yeah, there are no positive message in this movie, Darwin. No positive yeah, message. Yeah, I know. No, no worries. But that's a message, anyways. And I get that message actually. That's the. That's the. I get it. I felt it. That's good. Yeah, amazing. Uh, there was a job. Only yeah. negatives. <laughs> exactly. Gianluca, my last question is: Buddy, you coming to Barcelona? We know the situation. What do you think? What are your expectations? Uh, we don't know, I, right? I, I really, I, I really want to come. I really want to come. Now I say yes, I, I will come, but we know with, with this future that is so uncertain, we, yeah. we don't know what, but I really love to go to, to our amazing festival in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And I really want to know every one of you to, yeah. to be part of this great festival. I really love that. But I, I, was, I was thinking, why, why you can make it on, on streaming? If you know the situation was yeah bad. we are gonna do some streaming and some online a uh, festival for the people who's not coming yeah we're okay. gonna do something like that but we definitely okay. gonna have the festival you know in barcelona we have to make the festival in barcelona yeah 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 it's but there's gonna be options for people but you know it's not the same remember streaming is never the same no 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 no, no it's not the same but you know? we are facing a very yeah, hard exactly. situation you know? I know, I know we have to wear the mask and have yeah, some yeah. distancing. I already know that's going to happen. It's going to be in the festival. And we have to do it. You know, there is no choice. But, but yeah, if you have the chance and the situation change, yeah, Lucas, come over. Of course, of course. Yeah. Of course. I really want to go. I really want to go. All right, go. buddy. All right. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank Luca. you, Darwin. You're amazing. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate your input about filmmaking. We love your, your experience. You're telling us and we're looking forward to see you in Barcelona, buddy. All amazing. Right? Okay. All thank right, you, buddy. Darwin. See thank ya. you in huh? Barcelona. See Bye. You, Have buddy. a nice day. You Bye. Too. Bye. 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 Thank you.